everyone and welcome to the weekly World of Darkness news after a little vacation break. Today we're going to have an interview with Elisa Teague from Renegade Game Studios about the upcoming TTRPG releases, timelines, updates and everything the community was asking about. And then we're also going to reveal our new community ambassador and talk a bit about LA by Night. But first of all, let me see if Elisa is here with us on the interview! I hope that your summer was great, Elise. I know that you've been working very hard on the updates for the TTRPG books and the new things that you've been working on. But let's start with the big thing that our community was waiting for, Sabat, and what is going on with Sabat? Okay, for everybody who saw before, <laughs> you're going to act really surprised right now. Um, Sabat is um, either nearly here or here already, but scheduled for September release, which is just in a few weeks from now. Um, and to show everybody, this is a uh, production copy of the book. So it is here, it is real, it is gorgeous. And we are really, really excited about everything that is in this book. Um, it, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm so excited that we have this release coming in September. We have so many things following up, but uh, just so everyone knows, if you haven't already pre-ordered it, you can pre-order on the Renegade web store, and then it will be available in stores um, and also on digital, both on Renegade web store and at drive -Thru RPG. Awesome. So of course, this is a big struggle in a way to release a physical book these days. Uh, retail is uh, very, very difficult. Uh, we had actually Jason Carl joining us on Discord last week to tell a little bit of his perspective on that um, and uh, on general the publishing market in America. But could you tell us a little bit more about uh, what does it mean to actually print and distribute the book right now? And what are the obstacles that you had to go right through? Right now, yeah, I mean, look, at Renegade, we're used to doing this. We, you know, um, I've been in this industry for 20, oh my God, almost 21 years. Um, and so publishing books, getting it to retail normally is not a problem. And it's not a problem for us at all. Right now, because of the pandemic, there is um, a global shipping crisis. And so things are a little delayed. Um, it's going to be delayed across the board, not only for games, but, you know, for all products. I've been telling all my family and friends, hey, get all of your holiday shopping done now because store shelves are going to be on the emptier side this winter. Um, and so we are dealing with it. The whole game industry is rallying. Um, we ask that, you know, fans and, and consumers be a little bit patient, not only with us, but with everybody because uh, things are taking longer to ship. Um, it, it's taking longer for us to get things. The factories are overloaded and the shipping containers are full and, um, and a lot more expensive than they used to be. But, you know, that doesn't matter. We're still, we're, we're still doing it. Um, and we haven't raised our prices on our books, but uh, things are taking a little bit longer. Luckily, Sabat is here and on schedule, so um, I'm really happy about that. That's awesome. So. so, of course, there's a lot of questions about the international availability of the books. And I guess we can talk about it from two perspectives. First, uh, the Renegade store, but also from the retail perspective of availability in the stores. Could you give us a little bit more update from uh, on how uh, people from Europe, for example, can order these books? Well, the update from sales at Renegade is that the international availability through our web store is almost complete. So that should be up and running very soon, hopefully by the time um, Sabat is released. So uh, hopefully that will all be fixed and worked out for all of our international customers. We, you know, are, we love the entire world of the family and, and we really do apologize that this has not been up and running. We just had redone our entire website and web store. And for some reason it wasn't working. Um, I don't know about the technological side of that, but right. I know that they are working hard on doing that. Um, as far as getting into retail stores, um, I'm sure that we can get you updates on that soon. Um, I will follow up with sales to find out about what retail stores are, how, how fans out there can find the retail stores that are carrying the physical products. But as far as right, uh, ordering directly from us, we should have that up and running very soon. All right. Uh, of course, the retail availability, availability means that people will also be able to order things from their local stores. So they don't have to particularly order from the Renegade right. website in order to get the game from, let's say, Poland. I've actually seen the pre-orders uh, for Sabat on one Polish uh, uh, fantasy store. So um, I, I see the availability is there, right? 
yeah, there should be availability in your local stores as far as getting lists of which stores have them or anything like that. That's something that I need to follow up on. Okay, but of course. I know that the availability will be there. It's if you want to order direct from us, then um, that that system is being worked on literally as we speak. Awesome. That's great. And of course, there are tons of questions about the PDFs and the PDF availability. So, and uh, of course, okay, maybe we can start with, with uh, another thing because I've seen people in chat even asking about uh, the current uh, release, uh, of course, the release of uh, uh, the V5 core book and about the bookmarks. <laughs> and <laughs> could you we tell know, us a little bit um, about this? <laughs> so we are on it. We saw the comments starting to come in right away on Drive Through RPG. It was an immediate emergency situation, we didn't realize that the bookmarks were lost in the conversion. So basically, we took all of the PDFs that uh, we were given for of the older books, and we changed the, you know, we updated the credits, we updated our, our logo on everything, we updated the errata. And then in the re export, the bookmarks were lost, and we did not even realize. So thank you to the fans for pointing it out. That is also something that is being worked on. Again, literally, as we speak, uh, we were talking to the layout designers to get all of those bookmarks put back in and re-uploaded as quickly as possible. So that shouldn't take more than a few days, hopefully. So hang tight. It is being worked on. We apologize. We did not even realize. But again, thank you for pointing it out. Uh, and for all future releases, the bookmarks will be there. Awesome. And also in speaking of future releases, we're going to go back to PDFs in just a second uh, because you mentioned erratas and I want to very quickly talk about this. Uh, does it also mean that the physical new copy of Vampire the Masquerade V5 core book uh, has the errata in it? Yes, it does. So all of the books have been updated with the most current errata, um, including um, information from Companion. So any of the errata that came in Companion or any of the other errata that was in the interim part between that last release and the companion is all implemented in our reprint. So all right. That's all there for you. That's great. And what about the Storyteller's Toolkit and the changes in the toolkit? The main changes of the Storyteller's Toolkit are on the Storyteller screen itself. The booklet is basically a reprint, um, but because there's really good, cool information in there. But on the interior screen, there's a little bit of errata update on there. Mm -hmm. And then we have redone the outer screen with brand new artwork. Um, so if you want to, if you're a collector and you want both versions, um, there isn't too much of a difference on the errata, but on the interior. But I know that uh, if you're anything like me, you need to have everything on your shelf. Yes. So, um, so if you want a new updated look, for your storyteller screen, that's there for you. It features uh, core pieces of artwork from each of the books of uh, the core rule book, Camarilla, uh, Anarch, and Companion. And it's all presented beautifully in a, in a panorama shot. Um, it's, it's really gorgeous. Awesome. So uh, now the questions uh, move forward back to the PDFs as much as actually we have a perfect occasion because people are asking about it in chat. So uh, what is your approach to, to the PDFs and to, uh, getting the PDFs out there right now? Uh, we know that uh, there are still some people who got the original books back from Modifius so that uh, can get the free PDF code. Uh, what happens with these codes right now? Um, as, as far as I know, the codes from all of the older prints of the book that came with a code are being honored um, by Renegade. And mm -hmm. moving forward with the reprinted books, we are not putting codes in those books. And so PDF and print purchases would be separate. And you can mm -hmm. purchase PDFs either through drive through RPG or through the Renegade game store. So either one will work um, if you just want to have the PDF and not you know, the physical product in your hands. All right, that's awesome. So now let's move towards the uh, Book of Not and uh, the release uh, of the Book of Not Regular and Deluxe. Uh, can you give us some updates about that? Yes, well, the Book of Nod um, is also scheduled, the reprint is scheduled for September release. Mm -hmm. And again, I have a copy of the final product right here. And so you can see it's gorgeous, hardcover, faux leather bound, silver foil book with silver gilded edges. Oh, that um, looks really good. It, yeah, it's it's really beautiful. We, of course, added the ribbon bookmark. All of our books have um, a bookmark, which I feel is very important to keep track of where you are. <laughs> um, and yeah, so the Book of Nod, this is um, an actual 
straight reprint of the 90s version uh, for everybody, long-term fans and people who never got a chance to get it. Um, it hasn't been in physical prints like this in many years. And so we were really happy to be able to offer it up. And it goes so like hand in hand with Sabat Guide. So I think that these two as a, you know, almost like a bundle is really important. If you're going to be introducing the Sabat as antagonists in your game, um, it's really cool to have the Book of Nod to support that. Um, and as far as the deluxe version is concerned, um, which we're calling the deluxe artifact edition, it is really going to be like an artifact. And so we are working really hard on that. It's going to be in a uh, release for early next year. Um, and so we don't have our exact street date yet, mm -hmm. but the, the artifact edition is so cool. It basically takes what is in the book of Nod and it, um, it's as if um, while all of these stories and all of these records and recollections of the story were being collected, it's as if you have the actual physical items in front of you. Scrolls from around the world from you know centuries back, right? Um, you, you have a, I don't wanna give away too much. I'm scared of like, you know, <laughs> spoiling anything, but we're gonna have actual stone cast tablet fragments in there, uh, brand new artwork. It is, you know, a handwritten journal from Aristotle de Laurent. Like it is really, really cool. So it is a great collector's piece. It's great for trickling out clues uh, for your story around a table, handing out pieces of things that, you know, maybe um, the players can find. Um, whether it is that they've uncovered it or discovered it, you know, in the hands of one of their enemies or found it at an art auction or in a museum. It's cool that they can collect these pieces and unravel some, you know, intrigue that you can weave into your stories. And it is just going to be beautiful just sitting on a shelf as well. I'm very excited about it. That's amazing. I, am, I could go on forever about this one. <laughs> I, I cannot wait to have you back on the show when we are actually going to have uh, the physical uh, Book of Not Deluxe Edition so you can show off every single piece. I'm going to make you full screen then so you can actually, you know, show us everything that is going to be inside. Me too. I can't wait to do it. <laughs> no, because I, I really feel like it's going to be something that I, I would love to use on a LARP, for example, and actually physically uh, role play with it. That would be, would be really Definitely. awesome. That's the intention. The intention is, you know, so it has multiple uses. You can use it while you LARP, you can use it around the table. You can use it just to gaze at longingly because it's so gorgeous. Um, you can use it for reference material or how, however you want to, honestly. Um, it's just a really cool piece. It is limited edition though. So I wanna warn everybody out there, it's up for pre-order right now on our web store. We are res reserving, um, I don't remember how many copies, but quite a few. Uh, for international customers because we want everybody to get a chance yeah. to get it. Um, and so I don't want international you know, fans to, to worry that they're not going to get their hands on it and that the pre-sale is going to sell out before they get a chance. Um, we do have some held back for that. Um, and I will make sure to update you so mm -hmm. you can update on a, on a further um, show so everybody knows when that's going to be available and ready for them. Sure, we'll do for sure. And of course, uh, if for everyone present, I am going to give the latest news both here and on Discord, so you can always catch me there. Uh, now let's move forward to October, because I do see that we do have some releases in there. Um, the Storyteller Screen and Toolkit is planned for October, right? Yes, it is. So mm -hmm. that one's coming in October. Um, it is all done. I've seen all of the all the proofs and, and test copies of it. It looks great. That's arriving in October. And then along with that is we have a new official dice set for Vampire. Um, yes. And that's going to feature a new colorway and they are black and blood red with blood red engraving on the black dice and black engraving on the red dice. And um, they are going to come in a cool pack um, that you can see in stores or order from us or wherever you want. Um, and you'll be able to see those, those dice. So if you're a dice collector or if you've never gotten your chance, a chance to have your hands on some actual vampire dice, which, you know, yes, you don't, you don't need to, you can use regular D10s, but 
it is so much easier to see your successes when you're using the official dice and yeah. it's much cooler and it keeps you like it doesn't break the the feeling of the game it doesn't break the mood of the game uh, when you're sitting trying to figure out what which numbers are successes or not so yeah. i highly recommend picking those up i love them i worked really hard on getting the red you'd be surprised everyone out there how difficult it is to get a perfect blood red dye. Yes. Um, I think, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to, I probably shouldn't, I won't, but I, I, <laughs> Come I, on. I have a whole thing full of, oh, maybe I should I reach them from here. Um, just so everybody can see my nightmare. Now these aren't obviously the vampire dice. They're just test dice, but like I have packets upon packets of red upon <laughs> packets i mean i hope i have a whole box full of and they're all numbered with different uh colors of different reds so that i could get the exact and and i mean i put the factory through hell with this um i i <laughs> asked amazing. them for so many rounds i'm like nope none of these reds are correct send me more <laughs> and so we finally we finally got the correct red and so um you know, it has to be that right blood red. That's all I have to say. That's true. No, Karim actually taught me when, when we were playing uh, sessions together to uh, mark the hunger on my sheet by putting red dice on it so he can see it from across the table. For a circular, it's pretty mm -hmm. easy, but it also puts this big tension and pressure on you because the more red dice you see in front of you, the more dread you feel inside. So I've learned to really fear them. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. So of yeah, course, again, yeah. It, it just adds to the feel of the game. It, it, you know, it. I don't know. It, they they definite they definitely make uh, the experience uh, a more like rich storytelling experience to have that there. Yes, and I was wondering. Of course, a lot of people are asking the questions. When we will be able to see uh, the pictures of the final dice? Uh, do do you know? Do we have any timelines on that? We haven't. So we haven't received um, the final dice from production yet to mm -hmm. photograph them yes but i know that's coming really soon um i i promise you i, I definitely <laughs> want to see them too i probably ask about it every single day and i'm i am probably the biggest annoyance to production that there is um, we are that thankful that you are well. elisa we are we're very <laughs> thankful <laughs> That's great. Uh, no, please do do annoy the factory because that's that's amazing job on your part. And yeah, as soon as we're going to have the pictures, we're going to of course share them uh, on our social media uh, so everyone can see them. Uh, yes. All right. And now let's go into the next big big topic and something that I am personally very much waiting for, and that is the second Inquisition book. Uh, do we have any updates about that? Yes, the second Inquisition book is now scheduled for release in January. Uh, we were expecting it at the end of this year, um, and we are still crossing our fingers for it. But I, I will say that right now we want to give a realistic release date for January, um, and that is because of this shipping situation. Uh, we just know that by the time that uh, all of the containers are cleared for getting over here, um that's probably more realistic and we don't want to set up you know expectations that we can't meet for all of you so we're saying january and they are going to be available through our web store and local retailers everywhere as well as pdfs on drive through rpg and our web store as well awesome that's amazing so right now uh, is it correct if i say that uh, the current availability is the uh, core books and the source books for anox and camarilla are already available um in retail and in pdf uh, and uh, we are waiting for sabbat coming next right yes uh, all all three of those books are available everywhere um that uh, everywhere that has gotten them into their stores and ordered them from us. Yes. Um, so all of those are are there. And um, Sabat, again, is coming in just a few weeks in September. That's amazing. Very, very soon. I cannot wait to share this about with folks. I, I am personally a huge fan of the art for that in that book and and in all the, for all the content in there. And I just really want to have a physical version on my on my desk already. <laughs> yeah, it looks really, really beautiful. Thank you uh, so much for, for your work and for all of these updates. Uh, so, Elisa, is there any other updates and uh, things that you would like to share with our community? Um, I'm not allowed to share <laughs> anything else, but I do want to let everybody know that there's a lot more to come. We are working on quite a few new products that are coming out next year. 
So I hope that I can come back in just a few months, maybe even sooner, to update you all about what those releases will be. But just stay tuned. We have a lot more in store for you, not only for Vampire, for, but for more coming soon. So just want to, you know, trickle that out there. Amazing. You, you know, savor for a little while. Thank you. I mean, I'm just going to pretend that you, I don't know what you're talking about, of course. <laughs> We're going to wait for more updates, but thank you so much, Elisa. I cannot wait to see uh, the future uh, cooperation and things that we, we get out together. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, where can people find uh, you and how can, can they reach Renegade the best in order to get replies for any of these questions, like the ones which I asked you today? If you want to reach me personally, you can find me on Twitter at Geeky Pinup. But you can also always contact me at, reneg at Elisa at RenegadeGames.com or you can find updated information at the Renegade Games uh, website or through our Facebook pages. We have special pages dedicated just for tabletop role playing. And we also have um, the World of Darkness Discord where um, all questions I know are answered by you um, and everybody else. So I think there are lots of places where you can get updates. You can also follow uh, Play Renegade on Twitter uh, for regular updates on everything. And uh, we post uh, videos of our ongoing vampire actual play that's going on right now, The Nightlife, if you haven't been catching that. There was yes. an episode just last night. And um, yeah, so there's a lot of places where you can find information. Um, but if you want to ask me personally anything, you can always reach me at Kiki Pinup at, on Twitter, and I will do my best to respond to every single one of them. Thank you so much, Alisa, for joining us today. That was a lot of information. And uh, yeah, let's keep in touch about the future releases so we can get the dates and everything out to the community. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I will be more than thrilled to be back anytime. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, everyone. All right, everyone. And now we're going to go to the next piece of the news, which is our new community ambassador. We had to, I'm going to uh, wait a little bit until we're going to do, go to the next screen just to give you a little bit of the background on uh, what happened there. We had uh, over 240 applications for the community ambassador role. It was a very difficult recruitment, but I think we ended up with a very cool uh, ambassador for, for you and some of you folks may already know that person. But anyway, let me go to the next screen. Hello everyone and welcome Hadi to uh, our team as the new community ambassador. Hadi von Schland is a YouTuber, influencer, storyteller, role player that you may know from Blood on the Grand Strand or also from her YouTube channel on which she uh, covers uh, LA by Night uh, tidbits in which she uh, sums up amazingly uh, things from the previous seasons of LA by Night. So if you are going to watch uh, LA by Night season 5, I really recommend you to go check her channel right now. Hadi von Schland is going to be our new community ambassador and she's going to work with us to help you in getting information, in getting cool content, cool stuff uh, that she's going to help us create. So um, yeah, <laughs> hey Hadi, it's good to see you on the chat. Uh, for those of uh, you who are live on Twitch, you can say, Hadi, uh, say, say hi to Hadi right now uh, to give you a general uh, overview on what being a community ambassador means. So I work as the community developer for World of Darkness and that means that I, uh, as much as I of course also work uh, with you uh, directly on Discord and here and on social media, uh, my main task is to strategize on how to uh, first of all fulfill your needs the best so the things that the community wants from us and the things that our audience would like to see um, to relay that to our partners and to relay that to my team to make sure that they know uh, what uh, people out there would really really like to see and uh, also to uh, plan out the very cool things that we can do with that in the future and uh, that's why it, it is great to have some help from the for the general perspective of working day to day on the assets, on social media, on Discord, and here, for example, uh, with our community ambassadors. We do have one more community ambassador who is working with us for a, quite a long time right now, and that is Alessa Malkavian, and she's working with us in the Latin American community. She is the admin of uh, World of Darkness Latin America. 
uh, on Instagram so you can see her events and her activity in there. And Hadi is joining us to help uh, with the English speaking community and uh, to uh, be in the direct contact with you as well. So yeah, Hadi, welcome on the team. I'm super happy to, to work with you and I cannot wait to see what we're going to uh, do together. <laughs> I cannot um, wait to for you to see the one of the first things that Hadi is actually right now working on that she completely blew my mind with and so that's going to be out pretty soon. But anyway, uh, that is uh, the update from the Community Ambassador site again. We had so many applications and I was doing my best to reply to everyone who uh, who applied to us. So if you applied for this position, you should have the email uh, in your inbox. Uh, if not, then please do poke me. Uh, if you have any questions about this, also please do ask me. There are tons of amazing people that, uh, that applied and uh, I am personally extremely grateful that because of this recruitment process, I was able to meet a lot of you and get to know about a lot of you and what you do because there are so many folks out there that uh, do things online with Vampire Damascus and World of Darkness or even in real life creating communities around uh, different local towns, stores, RPG shops, pubs, bars that I had no idea about that they existed. So thanks to this recruitment process I was able to uh, get to know these people and get to know what you do. So it's amazing. Uh, families is huge and uh, the things that family does in uh, out there is just are just great and I would love to highlight them more and show them more to the great greater community so that is one of my goals for the future so uh, yeah one more piece of news for you is going to be more LA by night related so that's a little bit more on the topic of Hadi but I'm going to go to there next LA by Night is coming back in September, as you may know if you follow our social media, but not only that, they are also uh, coming back uh, to Gen Con. LA by Night is going to be featured uh, during Gen Con. Um, during, uh, Gen Con happens on September 16th to 18th, and there's going to be a live uh, show that is going to be, of course, story told by uh, Mr. Jason Carl, and also meet and greet, storytelling workshop with Jason Carl, and more. To get more information about that, you can check our website worldofdarkness.com latest news piece has more information about this so uh, yeah we really recommend you folks if you uh, are uh, anywhere around and you would like to go to come say hello to the crew and uh, come watch the uh, LA by Night in September and uh, watch the special episode live as well there's going to be a lot going on in season 5 I cannot unfortunately tell you anything just yet which kills me but uh, I I am really uh, looking forward to what you're going to think about after the first episodes. Uh, so yeah, LA by Night coming soon and uh, the exact date of the premiere of episode one is going to be revealed. Uh, I'm not, I cannot say anything yet, but very, very soon. <laughs> And that's it for today, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any more questions regarding Renegade, regarding uh, what our community ambassador does or anything else that we uh, have in plans, then please go and visit us on our Discord at discord.gg slash world of darkness. If you have more questions to me right now, if you are here live on the stream, you can wait a bit and I'm going to switch to our little cozy room and then there is going to be a little part of the Q&A. If you want to catch that live, it's every Thursday at 5 p.m. on our channel twitch.tv slash world of darkness so if you're watching us on youtube you can watch us uh, on twitch for a little bit more extra content so if you're on twitch i welcome you to stay with us for a little bit longer to ask your questions and if you're on youtube see you next week